of the not issues started trending, everybody has been waiting, waiting for Sam George to talk. If you don't know Sam George, he's the member of parliament for Ningo Pam Pam constituency. And this man has a very firm stance on the LGBT bill that he wants to pass. Uh, he wants parliament to pass. Yes. Now, everybody has been waiting for him to say something, to share his views on this whole Amma Governor issue because we know his stance and also Amma Governor is standing for the LGBT community. So now everybody is waiting. What will Sam George say? What will he say? Finally, this morning, Sam George has spoken and he has Alatai, why are you throwing Oja? It's not violence, relax. <laughs> uh, why are you throwing Oja? You like violence too much. Now, Sam George has spoken and people are, some people side with him, some people are also bashing him. I have the full gist for you. I'm the headless YouTuber that has had those reactions. Alatai, Yanka! issue the links in the description you can go and check it out but to just brush it on the surface i'm a governor as a youtuber and also a law student who has passed her bar exams but somebody went to snitch on her and that she has been doing some things on the internet especially talking about her bisexual needs and her bisexual lifestyle and some other things and because of that she has been refused a call to the bar and a committee has been set up to investigate the issue and stuff like that. There are links in the description if you want to get more just in, into details. I'm, now, Sam George, on the other hand, is this uh, member of parliament who is very stern on the Rainbow Squad. He's very, very stern on them. He introduced a bill to parliament and that bill has got CNN and BBC people asking him questions. This is one of his interviews. Watch this video. Why are you pushing this bill that would legalize hate and homophobia in Ghana? A very good afternoon to your viewers. And I do not understand what you mean by pushing a bill that would legalize hate and homophobia. It's a bill to promote proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values. If you have another bill you're talking about, then maybe you've got the wrong man. But if you're talking to me about the bill I'm sponsoring in parliament, is to promote proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values. What are these so Ghanaian family values in your mind, that. sir? What do you consider Ghanaian family values? Article 39 of the Ghanaian constitution is clear that the state shall take steps to inculcate the right Ghanaian values, customary values, into society. The constitution of Ghana makes the states clearly that the National House of Chiefs is the custodian of Ghana's custom. This bill is supported by the Ghana National House of Chiefs. Our fourth consultative uh, forum, which was held in the Shanti Regional Capital of Kumasi, was actually sponsored by the National House of Chiefs. And the president of the National House of Chiefs spoke extensively at that conference where Ghanaian culture forbids homosexuality. And so Ghanaian and these, culture... Which these members of you, the LGBT community, LGBT community we're speaking to so are also Ghanaians. They are also Ghanaian. They are part of Ghanaian culture. And they're saying they're gay, they're transsexual, they're bisexual. They are also Ghanaians. Some of the individuals who were involved in planning terror attacks in America are American citizens. Is it American culture to kill people? That's a false, that's, a, that, that's not the same comparison. But what I want to focus on here okay, is... It's not the same comparison. You are telling me that because we have people who are carrying out an activity that is illegal per our laws already, and our culture frowns on it because they are found in our jurisdiction, that is our culture. There is were many American things that were illegal that are unjust. children and teachers? Honorable MP, there are many things that were illegal that were unjust, and those laws were changed because they are unjust. Well, laws are a reflection of society. Until 1960, American society did not find women fit to vote. And so women did not vote there. When they found them fit and to so vote, society evolved. Society evolves. At this point in time, the Ghanaian society is in a position where it says it is not welcoming of homosexuality. And any other person must respect the views of Ghanaian society. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, Sam George is a very, very notorious um, agenda boy. 
I decided to end it at her pelvic, but then she took my fingers and then that's the one movement she made from being like this. I think she took my hands and then put it there. So then I just got the vibe that okay, I could finger fuck her, but that was about it. Was that every time I would have sex after some eight months after the insertion, my partners would be complaining that they can feel the IUD and or not complaining necessarily but they would they would give me feedback that they can feel the IUD and at certain points I actually started feeling the IUD myself through their penises so I'm specifically talking about when I would have sex with men when I would have sex with women I have still never experienced a strap being used on me so I never experienced a woman using a strap fucking me complaining about the IUD so I'm talking about when I would fuck men now Sam George has been quiet for the past two days that this whole thing has been unraveling but this morning, Sam George came to tweet, and this is what Sam George said. There's a reason why it is called a profession, and the profession is in caps, which means he's shouting. There's a reason why it is called a profession. <laughs> I, okay. It must be regulated. It must have standards, ethics, and values. You abide or you slide. It is that simple. And this is what Sam George has written. Of course, he has not mentioned Ama Governor. He has not mentioned any rainbow colors. But we all know the issue that is trending now. And how people have been tagging him. They want to hear his side. And he has come out to say that there's a reason why it's called a profession. It must be regulated. It must have standards, ethics, and values. You abide or you slide. It's that simple. And with this thing that he has cheated, you know, this is, um, of course, a lot of people's um, idea or a lot of people's opinion about this whole Amagoveno issue. I have made videos about this issue. I have read all the comments. And I know there are some people who agree with this perfectly. And then there are others who don't agree with it. And of course, it's the same on Twitter. Some people have come to reply, um, some judge. Somebody said it's shameful and <laughs> Hey! Somebody said it's shameful how um, you all talk about values when you openly embrace corruption. You as an MP can't boldly hold the Bible and swear that there hasn't been any corruption in your office, but you're here judging people for sinning differently. Okay, somebody also came to say, I cringe when some of you talk about standards. What do you call what happened on the floor of parliament yesterday? Even a whole parliament can't uphold its own standards or standing orders. And you are here preaching about standards? Only stand in uh, Ghana is double standard. That's the only stand in Ghana, double standards. Somebody also came to write that this, is, um, this table Jata is trying to shake. And some judge, who is also known as Jata, came to write that I'm not shaking the table though. I'm owning the table. Violence. <laughs> aye, aye. Another person also came to write that, unfortunately, your fellow NDC man, Felix Ousukache, thinks otherwise. He thinks the lady must be allowed to have her way. Interesting times ahead. I love my Ghana. And some judge came to reply that, I have my opinions and I am entitled to have one. But more importantly, so is my brother Felix entitled to his opinion too. That's the beauty of democracy and why we must protect it. Cheers. Okay, another person came to reply that lawyers have plunged the country into a mess more than any other profession we have in this country. Talking about ethics, y'all keep covering up um, these sexual predators in the law school, in that law school. Check every state bribery and corruption case and you'll find a lawyer in it. 
Okay, somebody also came to write, it left me in Kwan. She must be arrested for coming out publicly to say she is bisexual. Arrest that criminal. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people are saying a lot of things under Sam George's um, tweet. Finally, he has come to um, share his views, but he didn't do it in the violent way that he did some time ago when Sister Debbie and Kojo Sheldon and the rest were attacking him and he also, you know, gave it back to them. Giddy, giddy. Aye. Or when that um, reporter was asking him questions, trying to heckle him live on air, and he gave it to him. No, this one, yet, he has come with something very, very simple. All he said is, there's a reason why it's called a profession. It must be regulated. It must, it must have standards, ethics, and values. You abide or you slide. It's that simple. Let me know what you think about this. And today is the day that the people who have been called to the bar. Yes, today is the day. A lot of people are posting their pictures with the wig. I have my own reservation about the wig, but this is not a place to share my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. And if there's any development, I'll let you know. According to the letter that was written to Amma Governor, there's a committee that has been set aside to investigate this whole issue. So um, I'm very sure that when the committee is ready with their findings, then we'll know the final say of the Ghana Legal Council, eh, the General Legal Council. We'll know the final say of them. Because they wrote a letter to Amma Governor telling her that, yes, somebody has brought a complaint to us as the person added a pen drive, the person said you have been doing this, this and that. So, um, we have to check it out. So because of that, we have set a, a committee. That's the letter they wrote to Amma Governor. So yes, whatever happens, I'll bring you the full gist. And I don't know, watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah,